Good morning, South Beach. Good morning, South Beach. No, this is not Dino Spencer. This is Tom, and my uh, my guest Patrick is here today. I should say my guest, my co-host Patrick. Well, Dino is whew, flying to Italy. Hey, what? I'm gonna have some pasta, huh? <laughs> and um, we have special guests today. We have Donato and his fighter Mal. Donato and I have been friends for what about 14, 15 years. He actually used to be a sparring partner for our first fighter um, by the name of Fresno Kendo. And since then, we've been friends. They used to spar a, a bunch of rounds together. He's big, he's strong. And uh, no, this is not a speed bag, believe it or not. This is one of the products that he makes, which is not for sale. It's only uh, used as a gift. But his shoes are something that he does make. Uh, Virtuous uh, is a company that he started how, how long ago? It's 2018, right at the end of 2018. So we started about 2018, and we're going to go over a bunch of stuff. I'm going to hand it over to Patrick so he can kind of like jump in here for a second, and we'll get going with the questions. Yeah, just what's up, guys? Happy to be filling in here for Dino. Big shoes to fill. And uh, Donato, I definitely want to hear about your brand. I think you have a lot of amazing things on the horizon. Ramal is also fighting soon. But before we get into all of that, I'd love for you to talk about your start in Italy, you were a boxer yourself. You had a, a professional career, right? Tell me about, you know, as a kid growing up in Italy, maybe your influences in fashion and fighting. Well, my influences as a kid obviously was, my biggest influence was my father. My father was a boxer champion in the 50s. Uh, and so he had a lot of fights. And uh, I remember me growing up uh, looking at these uh, all boxing gloves and all boxing shoes, uh, all ripped apart. And, remember smelling them and wearing them and playing with them and uh, it just gave me a, a, sense, a feeling of empowerment. So my dad used to teach me how to box in the living room. He told me, I teach you how to box, but you go to school, you don't go to a boxing gym. And guess what I did? What did I do? I ended up being a boxer. So uh, basically fashion is definitely not the angle of my life. Um, I've always been, you know, being Italian in the house, right? Because Italy, the fashion we're known, so we have two tastes apparently, that's what I say. So growing up, I've always, uh, I always liked uh, anything that's got to do with the shoes, sneaker. I'm a, my friends say I got more shoes than a gold digger in Miami. I actually <laughs> own a lot of sneakers, so I collect them, I love them. So out of that, you know, definitely got, it was a big influence as far as uh, designing, or let's say co-designing uh, the shoes with, uh, with our designer in Italy. And that, you know, I put two and two together, boxing meets fashion, and virtual here it is. And as a kid, were you were you a uh, you know kind of a shoe head, as they say? Were you focused on having the fresh kicks growing up, sneakers, all that? So that maybe that's you know part of the influence where you absolutely, stand today. and it's still today. Yeah, and I'm not a young kid anymore. But, you know, I have a lot of sneakers. I don't, some of them I don't wear them anymore, but I just like to have them there. So, yeah. Some of them are older than you are, Patrick. Oh, that's how long he's had. <laughs> so. And uh, also, a lot of people may not know this, but Donato was kind of in the club and restaurant business, and I've eaten at his restaurant when you, when you had it, when you decided you not want to be a restaurant. Tell us a little bit about the restaurant you had. Well, the hospitality industry, uh, or the hospitality experience that I had was definitely a big impact in what I do today. Because um, when you work in the hospitality, the restaurants, bars, nightclubs, you learn a lot about People, you read people. You want, you gotta meet their needs. Their needs, sorry. So you gotta, you, you obviously constantly, uh, you know, consistently uh, taking care of them. So that helps a lot when it comes to uh, customer service and how you talk to people, how to read the customer, what they need. So, believe it or not, that translates into training. You know, when we train our, our clients here, it's just the way you welcome them, the way the experience they're gonna have while you train them it's it's all about experience same thing you know you can, you can have a nice dish of pasta in this restaurant that restaurant but the experience you have that day while you're having a dish of pasta is something that stays with you forever i believe fist regime has that element and all our trainers that's exactly what we do so definitely hospitality was a fantastic fantastic experience and translating to what i do every day here at fist regime and also before you did the shoes a lot of people don't know you used to make gloves uh, mason gloves 
and you did that for a while, so you know about the, like the leather, the quality of leather. And, and believe it, if you guys could feel this, the quality of, of leather in these things is outstanding. I mean, it's great. You, can, you can't feel it through the camera, but I can't. And uh, uh, tell us how that kind of springboarded you into the shoes. Well, that was exactly, I would call it, um, that was a big training. I would call it, that was a fantastic training experience. So we had this company with my, my old partner in Italy. We started doing, uh, making, uh, sorry, boxing gloves, made in Italy, right? Uh, and it was, doing, it was going well because people, fighters loved them. But what I, really, what I realized is that, of course, fighters like to fight them or train in them, but it's the boxing enthusiasts and the fashion lovers uh, the clients that we have, you know, the, the boxer size people, people that love the sport, they just wanted to wear something that had quality. I realized it was a big, big market. So I noticed that all our clients were buying the gloves and the shoes and everything that had to do with, obviously, made in Italy because the leather really makes a difference. It's something that we're very, really good at is tanning the leather. So we have very nice and soft and durable leather. So I said, why not putting two things together, making a made in Italy product for boxing? But I, that experience kind of told me that I think I wanted to shift to the shoes, obviously because of big fashion, I mean passion for the shoes. And uh, I just wanted to focus on shoes and the reality is that it's definitely working out a lot better like that. So yeah, Maison was fantastic, a good experience, but Mirage is the way to go. So, uh, real quick, yeah. Moving over into boxing, you've been in the ring with a lot of guys and I know that. Who's the guy that, that you think is one of the hardest hitters or a great boxer, like from your personal experience being in the ring? Who would you say is like, let's say, A, the hardest hitter, B, the best boxer that you've been in the ring with? Okay. Uh, how do I say who's the best boxer? Or would you say more like what my sparring partner, my sparring part, the hardest sparring partner maybe, or is the hardest or the most challenging sparring session I had? Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. The, because, like, who do you think is the most talented boxer-wise as far as a boxer, but who hits the hardest? And they may not be the same person. With. Yeah, I sparred with. with. Or fought, you know. I would say... I got a name, Attila Levin. Attila Levin is, he's a heavyweight. Uh, Big heavyweight, 6'4", 240. He was 6'40", uh, sorry, 240. Uh, he was 6'4", six, six, right? A little, a little taller than me. Big guy that moved like a middleweight. He was so quick, so I talented. remember him, yep. And I sparred a lot with this guy. Also, Timur Ibrahimov, uh, I, another amazing. So with these two guys, I mean, I learned a lot the hard way. But it was nice because we got we had, we we got into some very intense sparring sessions. But then we'll break things down. We'll slow like, hold on a second. That's where you made a mistake. You got to work on this, and, and that will stay with me forever. That was a huge experience. But I gotta say that Attila, one day, shook me. I mean, I was I was retired for two days. You know, I remember you know we did a like a heavy eight round session. And he hurt your relatives back in Italy, right? No, no, my aunt. <laughs> <It's a joke. laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He hit him so hard as Italy, his, his relatives I, I, in Italy could, could eat in pasta. And the accent is there, you can't avoid it. Anyway, so I remember that it was, it really shook me like, it was, it was a hard, you know, one, I would say one of the hardest sponsors that I had in my rank on list. Well, Ermal, you know, sitting here fighting very soon, in a few weeks. Ermal, tell me a little bit about the shoes yourself. I've seen you dancing around here, sparring, great footwork. You obviously got to be comfortable in those shoes, right? Yeah, it's been a while, and I the first shoes, the first boxing shoes I got was virtual. So these ones, virtuals, are part of my body. You know, training every day, like it's been like for three years. I have the same shoes, and I feel great. It's perfect for a professional fighter. Even for the stylish or to go, like I'm in, hanging out right right now. For me, are the best shoes, the best shoes. And I see a couple brands, other brands, and I, I don't even think about it to, to try the other one, you know? I don't even think, I just feel so comfortable. Are part of my body right now. Yeah, they look, they look super slick. I know the Thank material is, is as good as it gets. And, and Donato, tell me a little bit of, about, um, you know, Ermal as well. He's got his fight coming up. But also, you know, the crowdfunding that you guys are doing around his story. You have that massive yeah. Albanian fan base. Yeah. The Albanians love to come out and watch you. Um, I both you just say thank you to all Albanians, you know. And all other friends that live here in Pau that supported me. So it's been a great support for him. And you have an opportunity to invest in his career now. With right. Funders, so right? this is a first of its kind of opportunity. Uh, I believe it's never been done before. Uh, I heard it's been done for a basketball player, 
it was slightly different, but here is what we're doing. We found there, we're not asking for a donation. We're asking people to invest, invest. in the future earnings of our mom. Obviously, we, we're selling 10% of his future earnings, right? So it's amazing in only two weeks what we have achieved, the commitment for people. Uh, I mean, I was confident about it, but I got to tell you, I mean, people are very, very supportive. And I have to say, I have to give a shout out to the Albanian community. These guys are very loyal. They're very tight. They're very, they really support each other. And, and I, I only see nothing but love every day. So thank you for doing it. But again, the, basically what, we, what we're doing is, Armada got to a point where, you know, it's, we're it's starting to step up, you know, as far as uh, lead, if you want to call it that way. Uh, we're doing, we're fighting next week, July 10th here in Miami, the Double Tree Hotel. It will be his number 10 fight. Um, after that, we had to do some very, very key strategic fights to get to build up the record, and basically, these funds will be used to invest in his career. You know, for him to perform better, you know, to get the right sparring partner, you know, training expenses, and you know, and, and, and etc. etc. So, crap, we founder the sniper is basically right now running uh, and it's going fantastic. We're already halfway, and we're very, very happy with this. So, first of its kind of opportunity, something completely new very innovative yeah everyone should go check that out and uh, you're holding the shoe right here in front of me we got a couple on the ground there a few different models of the shoe if you don't mind just walking me through maybe the differences between the high top the low top maybe some of the detail work if you guys can look real closely there amazing work they did on these shoes um if you want to kind of just walk me through real quick maybe the high top i'll give you a chronologic uh you know there you go. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So the first shoe that we've ever made from Virtus out of the first prototype. The first prototype. By the way, let me, I, I like to talk about this because before we Virtus, Bo Virtus Boxing was actually born, you know, not only I reached out to sign, to my contacts in Italy because I do have family uh, in Italy that work with the leather, but also I reached out to a good friend of mine, podiatrist. And what we did is before we even launched or created the very first model, which is this one right here. Torino Collection, which is my hometown. That's the name of the home, my hometown. So we, the archodiatrists, put sensors all around the shoes to check, you know, where the pressure, the, the weight distribution will go, you know, all the bio, to understand all the biomechanics of the sport. Then, after we really did, you know, we did study with the podiatrists, especially you know, in, in, in shoe feet, we came up with the first product, which is the Torino Collection. This is the high top. I didn't bring the so, Torino collection device is divided by two, you know, two types, two models. The high top, which is this one, and the lower top is a little lower right here. I didn't bring it with me today, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, so this one is the first collection that came out. Uh, purely leather, very solid, very, you know, very durable. Um, anti odor they don't smell, eat the bugs for that, right? They don't smell at all. I usually, you know, shoes wow. are sweating them very normal. No smell, you're not stinking up. Uh, yeah. not stink. that, that's one of the things. Just like, not I training hard enough is like, what it is. For months, for months, <laughs> and I was waiting for them to sting. They won't sting now. <laughs> so, yeah, so coming on to the second quality? model is this one, the Napoli collection, right here. It's like, I would call it another high top, right? Uh, one thing, one of the, one of the uh, things I like the most is the, the actual, uh, if you want to call it tongue, I don't know if you call it tongue, this one right here. We call, that's how we call it in Italian. But anyway, I like it. It sticks out a little bit, it gives a little fashion touch to it. And this is the latest model that we came up with, which is a lower top for people that don't want to, you know, have a more of a, you know, they don't, they don't like the edgy look. They want to, they want to keep something a little more sober, a little more mild. traditional, low top. Right, more like traditional, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So these three shoes, yes, they are designed for fighters, but they they're also designed to be, you know, from the ring to the street. You can literally walk on them, and they're very, very comfortable and very cushy. And then we have, of course, the iconic bag. This bag right here is, so we have two types of bags. When you get, when you buy any shoe from the Torino collection, which is the highest, you know, the, high hand, the highest end of the, the collection, or the, you know, the most expensive one, if you want to call it that way, you get a basic shoe uh, bag, which are, you know, becomes like a packaging. I didn't bring it with me. But this one, it's a duffel bag with the shape of a speed bag that's for sale, that's also online. Now, this edition right here is something um, very special because can't really say the name, but a very good friend of mine who's a fantastic designer came up with his, with his idea of making and turning into a monogram. So it's literally still a sample, but that, what we, that's, that's, that's the duffel bag, leather duffel bag that sells. It's on sale right now, too. So here, pretty much, 
you know, awesome. what we have going on. Yeah, yeah very, very. Also, cool. also, what I want to bring up with uh, Irma, a lot of people know, a lot of these boxers, they have jobs. Uh, a lot of these guys have to get up, go to work, or they have to train in the morning. And uh, so this kid comes here, he trains hard, he, he spars, he goes around, does what he can, and then he's got to go to work at night. So when he talks about the, um, like uh, the funding for a fighter, a lot of people don't realize as he's getting, as you're getting up to the point where you've got 10 fights, 11 fights, you, you have to start fighting for belts. You have to start fighting uh, uh, more durable, incredible opponents. You got to go longer rounds. What that means is moolah. You need to have the moolah to keep going out there. Uh, they say by the time a guy gets 20, 25 and 0, you can invest anywhere from 100, 150,000 to a million dollars. And this is a lot of stuff that people don't realize that there's a lot of money that you have to spend in order to, to build a guy up. It's not like you go to college like you do in basketball or football. You get drafted and you get a multi-million dollar contract. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough sport. Not only that, you're investing all this money and then boom, uh, you had a guy like Seth Mitchell, they invested millions of dollars in a few years ago, guy got knocked out in the second round boom gone so that's another thing that people got to realize about boxing it's 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 still a business and it's still very expensive to be in it where there's no you know there's no free meals there's no you spend a lot of money to get to that point so if you guys can help that that would be great to get his career going but he's there he's got the talent southpaw fast i've seen him in there sparring he's he's awesome so uh if you guys could afford even a few bucks, go ahead and, and support him. Yeah. And Thank look you, at you guys. You guys look like you're on the, What's that channel? H and M channel trying to sell shoes. <laughs> I'm holding this, 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 this bag over here. Yeah. Look at you guys. Um, but also, like Armal, you're fighting July 10th. July correct? 10th next week. And then who's the? That's on uh, the Road Warriors card. Correct. Yeah. So we have the World sniper. Warriors. We have Mike the Glenn bronco. Uh, we have uh, the Road Warrior. We have the businessman that trains here. We have the, where's the Maximus? I saw the Maximus over here. What was your name again? I forgot. Uh, I don't know. I got amnesia. The pot, the shoemaker. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave him his name, the shoemaker. Um, All types so, of personalities in here. Absolutely. But Armal, though, when we're talking about, you know, your division, or 140, that ballpark weight right now in boxing, it's super hot. Like, as a boxing fan, you got Gervonta Davis, who just fought Barrios at 140, made a big splash. You got, you know, Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, Teofimo Lopez, Josh Taylor, of course, holding Stack. all the belts at 140. There's a ton of guys in there, a lot of buzz around those weight classes. And that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing for them. We're ever going to see this Teofimo fight ever take place? The Cambrosis got canceled. That's going to yeah. be um, probably postponed. But you know, It was, overall, but you, you think we'll ever see that fight? Or? Guys being like, wow, you know, this I is... I hope uh, so. We're going to get there soon. Since we finish, I mean, I'm fighting 154 right now, next yeah. week. So probably September we are scheduled again. So we're going to try for the title shot. So it's going to be great. We're going to put us in the next level. So we're trying to look forward and to get all the to the top and fight all these guys and, yeah. and beat them. <laughs> it's great that the boxing today, right, as a fan, it's like we have the heavyweight division that's alive and well, but a lot of the lower weight classes are getting a lot of attention, which is good, right? I mean, that's uh, that's what we want as boxing fans, to have that attention on all divisions. So exciting time for Armal and, and you as well with the, the shoe brand and everything. I know we got a special guest over there hanging behind the ropes. Wait, we forgot something we ask at every single oh, podcast. <laughs> all right. Uh, who do you think is the best fighter of all time, and who's your favorite fighter, boxer of all time? Oof. You first. Oh, that's a tough one. Oh, any, any, pound shit. for pound, any division. Ah, that, hey. I mean, what? I Rocky go. Marciano? No, any, pound for pound, any division, right? Hey, your favorite boxer, and who do you think is the best boxer of all time? I would say Sugar Ray Robinson. Is the best boxer of all time? Yeah, almost complete, yeah. And who's your favorite boxer of all time? I your have, personal I have, favorite? I have to pick one. I feel you don't have to do anything. Muhammad You're a grown Ali. man. <laughs> I'm Muhammad Ali. My man. I'm out. So, Who do you think is the best? Ba back in the time, I'm going to not choose Muhammad Ali too, you know, because he's the icon. He's it's like motivation for many, many years to all of us, you know. You see around the walls, you see Muhammad Ali is the big motivation ever. But as a young age as I am, like not like you old guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a low blow. Leave a shot right there. Speaking of having shoes older than anyone and here. That's right. So I'm going with the youngest side. I mean, my, my favorite like is, uh, is a Mayweather. 
I like this guy. He's very smart. Floyd or Flo his Floyd, dad? Mayweather, yeah. Oh, he said old. So he's not old. He's still like technically fighting. He said way back in the day. I thought you oh. were going to say, you know. Way back in the day? Is that what you yeah, just said? Uncle. I mean, his father, sorry. Yeah, yeah right. But anyway, well, that's why so I Floyd Mayweather is your to... favorite fighter, but you think your is the best fighter. Muhammad Ali is your favorite fighter. My favorite and most motivation, like when I see the movie, the stories, and everything, you know, especially being the same gene, the same gene, and used to used to train here. I've got this kind of motivation to, to become a champion like him and to challenge everybody. So that's why it's the biggest motivation for me. Also, my favorite question, uh, what is your favorite food? I, I kind of know what you like. Yeah, your favorite meal, your favorite food. Like if you had to have one meal. What do you think? What do you I'd guys say think? pasta. Pasta. <laughs> oh, actually, I, I got to pick the truth. You got to know it's going to be pasta. Italian food. <laughs> I mean, you know, Italian food, we got fantastic fish, fantastic meat. and uh, Fish. Okay, I got to I gotta choose. One, like one, one meal. I never get tired of prosciutto. I can have prosciutto every single day. At any time of the day. So I don't, I don't yeah, I didn't know that. Prosciutto. Prosciutto. I, I can do that too, you know. <laughs> prosciutto? Food, for food, I'm like, oh my God. One, like one meal. Your favorite number one food. So I, I can eat fish, I can eat meat, but what I missed, I missed. I said, damn, I'm tired of it. I need pasta. Pasta. <laughs> it's kind there of we go, way. man. The Italians <laughs> got it. So I can wait to make the weight on next week on Friday. And I go... For pasta, like 100%, you know? And Patrick, we never heard from you. Who's your favorite fighter, boxer? Uh, who do you think the best is? And what's your favorite food well, while I you're here? I, I, I got to go with Ali, just just greatest uh, boxer, most motivational and, you know, inspiration. And in terms of a guy right now that I really like, um, you know, I, I love watching Tyson Fury right now. Oh, yeah. I also... You know, I love in the lower weight classes. I think what Tia Fimo did recently did. He deserves yeah. a ton of credit for going up, taking the risk against Lomachenko. No rematch clause, so he rolled the dice and it paid off. And I think a lot of boxers got to do that more nowadays. Uh, best got to fight the best, and of course, I got to mention Manny Pacquiao as well, fighting Errol Spence, oh. the old guy. So oh he's man, my he's, yeah, my he, he's a. Uh, we'll see what happens, but um, you know, if he's able to pull that off, he might be able to say. I don't know where he goes. In the yeah, man, that's there. Yeah. Um, oh, he beats Spence. It's it would be incredible. But yeah. we did want to get to that special guest here before we got out of here. A guy who works a lot with Armal and um, can probably talk a little bit about you know your upcoming fight and maybe how training. Show you my headphones. So yeah. in terms of the mic right now, I think we're I think we're good. We got some mics rolling, so yeah, we want to just stick up you on. So now, when we say special, right, we don't mean right, specially right challenged. Right. We mean like yeah. he's a special guest, so not a challenge. Give him a nice introduction here. Absolutely. Um, with my pleasure. So, Short and I, we go back boy. a long time. Uh, Short and I were partners, and we both uh, train, coach, or mouse. So, this is a uh, you know, team sniper, sniper, Shota, and I. So, Shota is a fantastic trainer. If you want to say a few words about what we do, the training, whatever yeah, you want. Training. Before, I have to say that this guy, first of all, if you ever see him shadow box or hit the bag, he's better than about 95% of the, the, the fighters and boxers in here. Oh, yeah, he's great. got perfect technique, and he really needs to be fighting. And he's not only like the most awesome guy in the world, he needs to be fighting. I'm waiting, I mean, uh, waiting about uh, he hasn't peaked years. yet. He hasn't peaked yet. <laughs> Before I start, I want to say that um, that's not a coincidence. Irma's uh, initial trainer from Albania and Donato and I have same birthday so it's not really coincidence. 12th March we celebrate birthdays and all of a sudden oh my god it's my mom's birthday too so I'm 15 of March <coughs> plus oh, there you go. Pisces what is it March 15? March 12th March 12th March 12th so March 12th March 12th Albanian uh, he's also March 12th so three of us are March come on so, so, all the was, three, though. Was, was the first bail with him and I said to him happy birthday to coach oh wait a second it's Donato coach happy birthday whoa wait a second it's the Shota coach happy birthday I said what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> you got the three of my, the my coaches are the, the same the three coaches same day but who's the oldest wow <laughs> the oldest you are. Show, show, who's the oldest you are <laughs> apparently oh Shota how old are you I'm 45 45 you 48. Are you really? Oh, yeah. that's right. Holy cow. So man. coming into uh, when I met Donato, uh, we became instantly friends. And at that time, I was also in hospitality. And uh, 
we had a lot of mutual friends, but we clicked right away. After we found out we had the same birthday, oh, we are Pisces, we are, you know, we became like best friends. And then uh, this city is sometimes in full of uh, little flaky people, so we clicked right away. So he knows my word when I say, I be there, I do this, I do this. So he had a, I earned his trust and I want to say, I want to take this moment and say thank you to him to take me to this team. And what I bring to this table is just a experience all my life. I've been doing this amateur boxing from the Soviet Union, like the Russian school, you want to call it. I came to the United States in 2001 and I was fighting the Golden Glove. So I got this a uh, lot of different school experiences. You know, when it comes to American school, sitting down on punches or the Russian school or European school. And I'm too, after I moved to Miami in 2004, you know, I was still fighting here, sparring. I was burnt up in sparring part at one point. But, you know, nightlife kind of took, took me away from the boxing. But so I, for me to give to back to the sport, and I always had this in my heart. So I put everything, all my knowledge, all my experience. And then uh, we work together as a team. We have a great chemistry. There is no, you know, discussion that he trusts my opinion. So we are blending very well. So I bring the table to some, you know, when it comes to the technical other parts, so we do a lot of counter punching. But Ermal has a great ability of uh, extremely fast, and then he has this very, very different from any other boxers I've seen. That's what makes him very special. He's very different. He's uh, uh, amazing athlete and has an amazing ethics. He works hard, and and he's also honest. And then also, kind of when you were European, we got this European bond and. and uh, some type of you know the, the community we have here so we have the trust and friendship and i know that we're going to go very far because we have this uh together so, so before i know we're, we're getting out on time before we go i have to ask show this thing who's your favorite boxer and who do you think is the best uh boxer of all time can i say that my don't get mad though. i won't get mad so <laughs> my all-time greatest fighter i would say defensive fighter is Floyd Mayweather. I've never seen anything like that when it comes to defense and IQ and, and the talent and ability to go backwards, forward, every every dimensional level. But all time great, uh, we are here in Fifth Street Gym and I would say the god of boxing is uh, Ali for me. But when he said that we should go to the and also I was going to kind of, you know, it's hard to ask that kind of question. I have all this love and respect for these gods of boxing that I, I can't. Um. If you let me, I'm going to say something before we No, go. I'm not letting you. Yeah, go ahead. Let me. <laughs> so I want to say thank you to Coach Donato, to Coach Shota. They really put their heart for me and I feel it, you know, and I feel much stronger about that. And I got to say thank you to you, Tom. Yeah, I got to say thank you to you and to Coach Dino that I've been, I've been part of this gym like for three years now. And it's, it's like my home now. I come every day here. I feel good with you guys. I feel very welcome, and I want to say a big thank you for you guys. I'm glad it's I'm It's our here pleasure to have here. you. And let's make a big name together. We will. The sniper Instagram is the sniper Hadjube right there. Awesome. Good luck with the last name. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just put the sniper in the come up. <laughs> Just pull the sniper. Show a picture or something. Uh, virtuous part is uh, the shoes virtuous box. The only thing is spelled in Latin or Latin, like uh, Greek Latin. You know, it's, no, it's no spell like in English, so it's P I R T U O S. You can buy them online or in person, right? Uh, for, I mean, online, okay. or we have a retailer here in South Beach, which is called Pion Atelier on 7th and Collins, 720 in Collins. Just put a retail the shoes where you can go and get a feel and a touch and feel uh, experience. And as far as WeFunder, you know, WeFunder.com, the Sniper Enterprise Incorporated. That's where we can follow and support this drone. Awesome. Follow me at uh, Boxing Shota, S-H-O-T-A, at Instagram. I put all my stories, Boxing Daily stories there, and where I do the basic stuff. And I think that's it. At Fifth Street Gym, uh, Dino Fifth Street Gym, Patrick at, uh, at the Pod Matrix. Yep, Pod uh, Matrix, Brooklyn Boxing Podcast, or underscore Patrick Healy for my personal. Thanks, guys. That was awesome. We'll wrap Thanks it up. Episode us. 10 in the books. Episode 11 coming up the following week, obviously. Uh, Coach Dino is in Italy for the next couple of weeks, so I'm, uh, I had the pleasure of being with Patrick, and we will see you guys next, and hopefully... Uh, click all the buttons that they tell you to click so you can watch, like, so we can keep growing this thing. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful week. Awesome. Thank you.